why would you want to create a blog that is AI generated? Oh! Oh! The tools I'm going to be using for this automation are the same tools I have been using for my AI automated print on demand series. Check that out if you haven't, link down in the description. Thank you for using my links, it helps me keep making videos. Let's jump right into it. So you'll need to log into your make.com account, create a new scenario. I'm going to start by showing you the automated blog I've created for Medium. I've also created automated blogs for Blogger, Shopify, and WordPress. Each platform is slightly different and requires a slightly different setup depending on whether or not they allow image hosting or whether you have to host your own images. So I'll walk you through on those platforms where you have to store your own, how I've set up my Google Photos to facilitate that for me. All of my auto blogging scenarios consist of two elements. One would be the OpenAI module, first generating a topic, then generating an image, then from those generating the entire article and then the module of whatever blogging platform I'm wishing to publish to. In this case, Medium. Let's run through what it looks like to create this auto blogger from scratch. I'm gonna back up, create a new scenario. So the first module that we're going to add will be OpenAI. And we'll use create a completion. First thing we're going to do is create the title or subject. I'm going to cancel out of this and configure it later. And I'm going to chain three together. Click the little plus, add another one. This one will generate an image. Cancel. And let me add the last one, which is another text completion or a chat completion, actually. They recently changed the API. We used to select prompt completion, now it's chat completion. So for the first one, I'm going to select model 3.5 turbo. And the reason it's a little bit less expensive to use 3.5 turbo, it's gonna do just fine for my titles uh, in general and for most of my ads and product copy on all my other automations, this is what I use. Saves a little bit of money. Add message, roll system and message content. Come up with a random topic about earning passive income online. Let's see the advanced settings. Okay, max tokens, I'm gonna to go with 100. And you probably know by now, but if you don't, tokens is how many characters it can feed back to you. So I'm basically saying you can give me a maximum of 100 characters to come up with this title. Temperature, not important. Number, I only want to get one completion back, so I type one. Everything else looks good. Response format text looks good. Now I'm going to go to my second module to generate an image, and we are going to choose, I'm going to choose Dolly 3. Dolly 2 is a little bit simpler, and for our prompt, what I'm going to want to do is create an image about and I'm going to reference the title that was just generated. So let's say it says, you know, stalking casinos to earn that extra dime or something. Then it should, in theory, generate an image about a casino. So message content, create an image about choices, message content. Now let's show the advanced settings. And well, why not? Let me bump it up. Uh, the new Dolly 3 allows you to generate bigger images, which is kind of cool. This is for a blog, not for a print-on-demand. I might just leave it standard. So I'm going to leave that standard, style vivid, response format, URL. And actually, I think for medium, I do believe we're going to need to change it to image file. Then let's create our third completion. And this one, I'm going to select a different model. I'm actually going to select GPT-4. And the reason I find this one a little bit better at longer form writing and really doing a better job with a, you know, just a longer body of text. Let's do messages, add role system, generate a blog post about, and then I'm going to reference the title again, choices, message, content in 2000 and I'll just go ahead and say in 2500 characters or less 
So let me go to advanced settings. That also means my tokens are going to be much more. So let's go ahead and give it 3,000 tokens. Then let's do only need one. Everything else should be the same. Response format text, good to go. Now, move these a bit. And let's add the next phase. So the next one that we're going to grab will be the medium module. Grab that, and we are going to first upload an image. And the order kind of matters. You need to upload the image, and then when we go to create the actual post, it can reference and grab that image. So right here, we're going to do this, and I'm going to have it grab the image that was generated here. If memory serves, it needed to be image file instead of the normal URL that I use. We'll find out here in a second when I run the process. So now I'm going to create a second medium module, create a post, and I'm going to have it do the same thing, reference the title, choices, message, content. Oops. See how that says number three, and when I hover over it, that one pulsates? I accidentally just dumped the blog into the title, so got to be careful about that. Scroll down. There we go. Choices, message, content, and now that's the number one, so it's referencing the title, and I want my content to be the number three. So you can see when I hover over it, that's referencing the generate a blog post module that I made. And I'm going to set my status to draft. I don't advise ever just publishing it immediately because you usually need to curate these posts a little bit to make sure that they, they come across well and that the content is what you want. And I almost forgot in the content, we also need to reference the, the image that was uploaded right here. So, and how we do that, we're going to use HTML. So I'm going to say image source equals, and put some quotes around it, and I'm going to grab the URL from the medium upload an image module, put it right there, put quotes around it, and that should allow us to embed the image at the top of the article. Close save. Now let's run this and see what happens. So we can see here that it has returned a title, the popularity and potential of NFT rentals, earning passive income in the digital art space. That's definitely something I've done before. All right. So it went all the way through the workflow. Let's go over to my blog. Popularity and potential of NFT rentals. There it is. And there we go. There's my AI generated graphic at the top. Now I can go through, edit. Usually these are not formatted too well. So you have to separate out, space it the way you want, add different graphics. The way I handle my automated blogging, at least for my primary businesses, I never just let it rip. I come in and curate. By the time I'm done editing, it's basically my article. And probably about 50% of these I'll never publish. I'll just trash. If it publishes something that is not something I've ever done, I'm really not going to vouch for it. However, I'm going to create kind of an Amazon product promotion, you know, blog here pretty soon. I say pretty soon within the next few months. And I'm just going to let anything rip to that. For that, I'm not going to put my own face as a brand on it, and therefore I don't really care if I just automatically publish as many blogs as I can to see if I can sell cool Amazon products through links. The last thing I need to do is put my blog on a schedule. So here where it says every 15 minutes, I want to run it once a day. I'm going to create a new blog every day, and I'm going to put it out there at 8 a.m. There we go, 8 a.m., okay. Now I'm going to turn it on and click save, and now it's going to be running automatically for me every day. That concludes this lesson for setting up an automated medium blog. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this video and you found it useful. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I make new videos. And join me on my next video where I'm going to show you how to set up a blogger automated blog.